right here live inside Kingsburg High School in Kingsburg, California. This is the CIF Central Division Three Softball Championships here featuring the Redwood Rangers and the Kingsburg Vikings here alongside Michael Conowitz. Man, you need to hear making the call. This is definitely the one-two duo, the, IS, the CIF Central Division Three ma uh, matchup they've been waiting for here. Redwood Vikings with a very, very good pitching uh, specialist in Savannah White taking on a very, very resilient Kingsburg's Savannah Seeger, both with, both with just under 1.5 ERAs. This is definitely going to be the one-two matchup everyone's been waiting for, Michael. Yeah, absolutely. Good pitching on both sides. Uh, uh, high in their leagues on both sides, both individually and as a team and a lot of hitting power too. Yeah, if you look at the Redwood team so far, they can, they're coming in today with a record of 25 and seven second in the West Yosemite League. They're seeking their first title appearance, but they came back out eight years ago in the t uh, title game, but obviously fell out uh, empty handed in that regard. But in this playoff run, they've mercyed out both of their opponents to the in lieu to this championship game. They took down Wasco and Reilly in five innings. Savannah went on the mound, just pure flawless. A 12 and four record with a .91 ERA, and she's light out during this playoff run playing all five innings in each game but they have a reliever in Lena Vaca in this season 12 and 3 with a 1.6 ERA but here on the other side for Kingsburg as we will get underway right about now on the other side here for Kingsburg you have a great solid pitcher in Savannah Seeger Seeger a 1.5 ERA 14 and 3 record but she's lights out on the mound with 4 140 34 total strikeouts as you see, the first pitch right there called a strike as we are underway here in Kingsburg, California. Again, the Division One or Division Three rather, CIF Central Championships. Second pitch on the way, swung on and missed. Down to Ashley Cervantes on the pitch. It is now 0-2 as Seeger is ahead of the count. Yeah, Seeger, a 419 hitter and a uh, really good pitcher, as you said, Manny herself. Second in the Central Sequoia League in the ERA and wins. Yeah, very, very solid pitcher indeed. And, you know, both these players, as I mentioned earlier, you know, with just under 1-5 ERAs. Uh, you know, in these championship games, it's either going to be an imbalanced matchup or a very tight affair. And even a 2-1 might be asking a little bit too much to ask for. Hit down right to the pitcher and Seeger. The toss to first in time. Call it a 1-3. A to three, And that'll draw the first out here into this top of the first. Good fundamental play. You have to make those plays in championships. Good way to start in terms of fielding. So now at the plate here, Sarah Solino. Inside the box, the Siegler's first pitch. Check swing. Does she go? No, says the umpire. It's going to be ball one. One and oh, here the count. So for Woodward, Regina at the plate here as she steps in. Sarah Salino, rather, the second baseman playing in the number nine slot at the right field. Pitch on the way, hits the outside corner for a strike, and the count now evens up here at a ball and a strike. Here just underway in the CAF Central Division Three Softball Championships. Seager so not ready to go, pitch on the way, just inside off the plate. As Salino here ahead of the count here, it's two balls and a strike. Salino with 354 here, 23 hits on the season, nine runs driven in. Also has had five doubles and two triples, so she can definitely get the long ball going. Swung on and miss on the pitch, a beautiful off-speed pitch on the outside as she went a little bit ahead of that one there. Salino now evens the count here, two balls and two strikes. Again, one out here just underway in the CIF Central Division Three Championship. Seagler gets the call. Wind up in the offering. Swung on and missed. That strike three. Savannah White so good and throws those strikeouts. She was fourth in the league, in the West Yosemite League, in strikeouts, 84 on the season coming into today. So that was her 85th of the season. So now at the plate here, number 14, Rebecca Cervantes playing it short. Again, with both of these pitchers, uh, Hits will be most likely few and far between. Ziegler the toss, the pitch, down the bite for a strike count now at 0-1. Cervantes is a really powerful hitter though, 551 average, 54 hits, 52 runs driven in. She's definitely uh, primed to earn that number three slot. Outside pitch, 
on the off speeder. Count evens up here at one ball and one strike. Now the one thing here for Redwood coming in, again, their first title appearance in eight years. They have yet to win one. It's all about shaking off the cobwebs here in the early going. Pitch on the way, swung on, a dive stopped there by the third baseman, tossed the first, a little overthrown, right to the first baseman, it'll head down into second place. A beautiful dive play there made by Barkowski, but just went well over the head. Should have held the ball up for a single, and said it's gonna be moved on for, I believe it'll be counted as an error, but nonetheless, a great dive move by Barkowski. And a rare mistake there on the throw for Kingsburg. They led the Central Sequoia League in fielding percentage at 9.48, so a rare mistake there, the overthrow. Now at the plate here, Haley Gonzalez playing at second base. Ziegler's first pitch, a little high and off the plate. Count here at one ball and no strikes. Now with a runner here in scoring position where Rebecca Cervantes stands, Eric credited to the third baseman. Pitch on the way, just off the plate, out so correction, it'll be a strike. As it touches the black, Count Evans now with a ball and a strike. Gonzalez, 42 hits on the season, 433 average. Again, a lot of good hitters in this lineup. 1-1 one, one pitch, a fly ball hit down to deep left field, missing the track of the ball, and it goes over the head. One run will come in. Gonzalez out to second, counted a double, and the Rangers will strike first. Third double of the season, a great way for her to start this championship game. So a double here corrected, or credited here to Haley Gonzalez. So that error will pay favorite here for the Rangers as they now lead it here, one nothing here, top of the first. Silvano White on inside the box. Again, the pitcher, one of the solid star pitchers in Division Three. Siegler ready to go, first pitch, swung on, and it's a pop-up down into shallow center, a diving play, not gonna go. Gonzalez rounding third, she'll come in to score. Counted a single for Savannah White. It's now 2-0 Rangers. Savannah White, a short fly ball down to center. Out to chase after it was in Uwe, but she was shallow on the play, right in front of the glove. She'll get credited for the single and the RBI. A 2-0 Ranger affair. Now with the plate here, Lena Ivanka, the first baseman. And she will take her time getting down to the plate as right now for, for Savannah Seeger, again, a 1-5 ERA, and she's already given up two runs here in the top of the first. Seeger now ready, gets the call from the catcher. First pitch on the way, swung on and fouled off right to the backstop. So now Seeger ahead of the count here, 0-1. Two nothing here, Redwood leading. RBI hits by Cervantes. And uh, correction, Haley Gonzalez and Savannah White. White standing at first, time is called. As the umpire runs down to the Redwood dugout to kind of ease uh, the noise. Thing about softball is, uh, you know, you see this uh, team spirit go both ways. Second pitch on the way, just inside. So the count evens up here at one and one. That's the great thing about softball too, is uh, you know, you get a lot of noise, you get a lot of support for who, whoever's at the plate, uh, you know, trying to cheer them on to get you a lot, a lot of those special chants. Takes them back to my college days. A ground ball back to Barkowski. Picked up, tossed it first in time for round number three, but not before. The Rangers draw two on the play. After one half inning of play, it's Redwood with two, and the Vikings are coming up. Do you want to watch more of your school's great matchups like the game you're enjoying here this afternoon? Tell your school to sign up for the Play on Sports School Broadcast Program. The program allows schools to broadcast all their games and other activities on the web. For more information, go to playonsports.com slash SBP. That's playonsports.com slash SBP. Back in action here in this one just underway. Again, it's a two nothing Redwood Ranger affair here after one half inning of play. And you know, like we talked about in the beginning, it's all about shaking off uh, you know, the nerves and uh, the itchiness here. But Redwood, again, after picking up, two, picking up two quick outs, they get on a two out rally and they bring in two runs. But now on the man here against Savannah, or, yes, correction, Savannah White, again, a very solid pitcher with 
just under a one ERA. Obviously, if you're all white on the mound, you got a two nothing lead. How comfortable should you feel going into this game? Oh, absolutely, great pitchers. Uh, you know, you have to feel comfortable, but you have to make those fielding plays a lot. A couple fielding mistakes, which was, which again is rare for Kingsburg. And it's interesting, you know, Manny. Uh, these two teams played four times last year. Kingsburg uh, swept Redwood for nothing by a score, a, a combined score of 25 to five. And it looks like you know some of those Redwood players who saw those losses last year have come out hot, ready to try and avenge those losses. Yeah, it's all up here for Redwood again. They have yet to win a section title, and you know, talking to this team. Uh, uh, in the semifinal game, they, they just got, they're in high spirits right now. Obviously, uh, in a way, you can kind of say they got uh, everything to play for. You got to leave it all on the field. But considering that, you know, you want to be the team that represents the first to ever win a section title. They've definitely got a lot to live up for. And already with a 2 nothing lead, they're at least for right now in the driver's seat. Now as we are in the bottom of the first, White ready to go, first pitch on the way. It's gonna be just outside, right to the Kingsbird batter in Marina Salinas. Salinas playing in the shortstop position. And a two nothing Redwood affair here. Bottom of the first, pitch on the way, and that hits the corner on the outside. Beautiful pitch there. The count evens up here at a ball and a strike. And Salinas very talented, hitting 490. And fourth in the Central Sequoia League in batting average, fifth in stolen bases when she gets on. White now ready to go, toss on the way, outside for a ball. So now Salinas here ahead of the count, two balls and one strike. White with the call, 2-1 pitch, ground ball short to the pitcher and White, toss the first, just in time! Ping, ping, tie goes to Savannah White, one down. A great toss and a great reach at first to make the out, that was a tough one. Yeah, very tough, especially in softball when the field uh, is, or uh, the, the distance between bags is only 60 feet. It's all about quick reflexes in Savannah White. Not only showed off her reflexes, but her very strong arm there. One out here, bottom of the first, and now at the plate, the third baseman, Jordan Barkowski. Foul ball right into the hands of one of the lucky fans who tosses it right into the catcher. A beautiful move there, hey, give him a club. Count here, 0-1. Yeah, he's got, an, uh, uh, he's got hands <laughs> and an arm there. That's not an easy throw to make it back over the net. It's always sports center worthy when you see catches like that out in the stands. White here on the mound again, an 0-1 count, one down, bottom of the first. Pitch on the way, that misses outside. Count evens up at 1-1. One and one. So Obviously, we see right now Savannah White kind of just, you know, Getting the feel right now. It's only. It's obviously been only about two game, two days since she's actually pitched uh, in a game so far. So obviously not too much in between. Pitch on the way. It's a fly ball to shallow uh, right field as the second baseman and Haley Gonzalez tracks it down, and that'll be out number two. Obviously, catch you have to make, and that's good for the confidence out there in the outfield and just for the whole defense to be making the plays you have to make, get your feet back, back underneath you. So now at the plate, it'll be number nine, the pitcher Savannah Seeger. Seeger on the mound, and one of the solid players here. As Seeger and her other uh, player, and Jessica Gonzalez, combining for 11 total home runs on the year. White's first pitch, As that'll be said, a ball. As you said, Manny, five home runs on the season for her makes her second. Uh, second also in runs driven in and doubles. Third in batting average and hits a very talented batter. Pitch on the way, just outside for a ball. The count now at two balls. Correction, one ball and one strike. Correction, two and oh rather. It's only drop ball. One, one pitch. And that'll be inside for a strike. As now Seeger finds the plate, it's now two balls and a strike. So it'll be one out as I believe, uh, let's drop out to the shallow center field, shallow right, so they actually they call it an error. Looked as if she made the catch on the last, but with the runner now at uh, first, er, first base at Barkowski, here count at now three balls and one strike. 
Pitch on the way, swung on and missed the off speeder. Now it's going to be three and two full count here between the pitching duel in White and Seeger. 3-2 here, one down, bottom of the first. White ready, on the way, just off the plate, and ball number four. So already she's put two runners on, one on the air by the second baseman, the other one this time on six pitches, drawn a free, a free pass. Maddie Torrey here, the designated runner that will come in for Seeger as for Savannah, she'll take a little breather before she comes back on the mound. Now coming to the plate, again, the second of the one-two duo, number 12, Jessica Gonzalez, the catcher. Gonzalez, so good, a power hitter, led the Central Sequoia League in home runs and RBI as she had the six home runs to lead the team and 35 runs driven in on the season. White now ready, first pitch on the way, just inside and a bit high. And now right now after getting the first out, Savannah White kind of uh, a little bit tight right now. Again, a 1-0 count, runners at first and second, the 1-0 pitch. And that'll be just off the plate outside. So now it will be Gonzalez ahead in the count here, two balls and no strikes. Again, a bottom of the first, one down and a 2-0. Redwood Affair, 2-0 pitch, again high and inside, 3-0. With one down, with a runner in scoring position, White here, now needs to dig herself out of the hole. She needs to find the plate here for a strike, the pitch, and that'll find the pipe, 3-1. Obviously, you're a pitch in, in a game like this. You know, we got to leave everything out on the field. Mistakes definitely need to come at a minimum. 3-1 offering. Swung on and a short pop-up to the first baseman who makes the catch, checks the runners, and Savannah White will make the play for round number two. A nice play there for them. A little pressure on them not to load the bases and they get a little break there with the pop-up and the good solid catch made that you gotta make. So two outs here now, bottom of the first. White needs to get out of this one. Leaving a runner as she will line it out to the second baseman. That'll be it for out number three. The batter there for, it was to number eight, Lindsey Smith. Then it'll be out number three. So she leaves two runners on. We'll keep it right here. One inning in the books, and Savannah White really showing off her struts as she got out of, that, out of that inning, throwing just one pitch down to Smith to escape the big inning. And Play On Sports is on Facebook and Twitter, giving you news and information and links to great highlights. Follow us at Play On Sports on both Facebook and Twitter. You can also access thousands of live and on-demand games on YouTube at youtube.com slash playonnetwork. Keep up with all the high school action every week from your destination for high school sports. Playonsports.com. So one inning in the books now. Redwood here leading by a score of two to nothing. And again here for Savannah White. She leaves two runners on, one coming on the air. The other. Top of the second here, Seeger's first pitch just off the plate, but touches the black as they count here now 0-1. Again, a 2-0 Redwood lead. Seeger now ready. 0-1 pitch off the plate outside. So it's now 
Oh, correction, one ball and one strike. Seager looks down. Now ready. Off the plate again. Two and one the count. It's right now here with a two nothing uh, lead here for Redwood. The pitch, swung on and missed. The count here at two and two. And Mendeville, a 389 hitter, can drive in some runs. Fourth on the team in runs as she's driven in 21 of them. Now the 3-2, swing and a miss and a strikeout. So that'll bring up Regina Lopez as Manny's just helping out a Fresno B rider here. We'll, he'll be right back with us in just a moment. Here, two outs, top of the second. A great play there by White. Tossed down to first. That'll be in time here for out number two. So it's already a two up and two down here for the Rangers offensively. And now coming to the plate will be Crimson Kaiser, the designated player. First pitch just off the plate outside. So now that count here at 1-0. and oh. And Kaiser only two at bats on the season thus far. Seager now ready, second pitch, uh, liner right to Cervantes standing in the batter's box. Nonetheless, the count evens up here at one ball and one strike. Again, top of the second, Wedwood got their two runs on the RBIs from Rebecca Cervantes and Haley Gonzalez. Pitch on the way, down the pipe. Right down the middle, as now Seager ahead in the count here, one ball and two strikes. Showing bunt, pulled back, inside pitch, just missing the strike zone as the count now evens up here at two balls and two strikes. Again, Kaiser showing bunt, Seeger now ready. 2-2 two -two pitch, a ground ball to Barkowski. Tossed to first, and that'll be in time for out number three. This time, a different ordeal here for the Vikings as they Play out defensively, one, two, three. We'll keep it right here again after one and a half. It's Redwood leading by a score of two to nothing, and that's what Seeger needed here. A one, two, three affair after that shakeup in the first inning. She gives the ch team another chance to at least pick up those, uh, those two runs given up in the first. Yeah, Vikings play really good defense. Well, uh, well pitched inning, as you said, Manny, and get their feet underneath them a little, and we'll see if that transfers to uh, the offensive side now. Now, obviously, if you are uh, Redwood, you've had all your wins come on mercy rules, taking down, uh, you know, your two opponents. But you know, going into this game against against a very, very difficult uh, uh, Kingsburg team who does have a lot of playoff experience, definitely getting to the finals. They've actually reached the finals, uh, you know, pretty pretty much every so often. But again, if you are Redwood right now, you got that two nothing lead. What does what does head coach Robert Rooney say to his team, inning by inning, to basically keep her girls pumped up and really keep the momentum going and not letting it fall through? Well, it's just, you know, pitch by pitch, one pitch at a time, one, one at bat at a time, really. Uh, this Redwood team has definitely turned things around. They, they're coming off a, a last year where in 2012 where they were just 4-8 and eight in, the, in the West Yosemite League and now 8-4, and four, switching it around, obviously, here in the championship game. So that's great for them. And on the Kingsburg side, yeah, they're down, but they're such a talented team. 13-2 uh, and two in the Central Sequoia League. They've got plenty of talent. They just need to get it going. Courtney Inouye at the plate as she fouls it right into the right field stands. 
And that'll put White ahead in the count here. No balls and one strike. And like you said, it's all about just kind of trying to keep your poise as a head coach and really tell the team that you got to play a full seven innings. You've had the comfort of playing just five in those in those first two games, but it's all about playing a full seven inning affair. Yeah. Ball, ball right to the backstop, 0-2. As you said, Manny, for Kingsburg, it's it's only the second inning. No no reason to panic or anything. You just need to uh, you know take your time getting those bats going and make things happen. Yeah, they had mercy to one of their opponents in the first game, but the or correction in the second game. And in the first game, they only won their game 3-1. Again, another foul ball right over the backstop and out of play. And in a way, uh, a 282 hitter, but 20 hits on the season has driven in five runs and can also, uh, you know, hit a little bit of the long ball as she's got three doubles on the season. White now ready. The 0-2. Swung on a line drive down the left, and Yui will head down to first with a leadoff single. That's what I call a lawn chair pitch. Sit back, relax, and just hack it away. Great way for the Vikings to start. Get, get on base. Uh, 21st hit of the season for Inoue, and now you got... At the batter here, number four. And it'll be Stove at the plate. It'll be the throw to second in time on the caught stealing. Beautiful play there. And that'll draw now out number one. A tough break there for, for the Vikings, but at the same time, with no outs, why not why not go ahead and go for it in the, here in the championship game? The 0-1 pitch swung on and a fly ball to left and a beautiful catch there made by the left fielder, fielder for Redwood and Collins. That'll be out number two. So now so, two outs here. So you had a good start and now you know you get you get caught still stealing at second, which I think was a good aggressive play, but then you get that out, and now there's a little pressure to maybe get the bats going. At the plate here, Kelly Ritchie, who watches the pitch hit outside. It's now going to be an 0-1 count. The offering, swung out on the ground ball, right down the middle, tossed to first, in time. So call that a 1-2-3 after giving up a leadoff single. They get the runner caught stealing, hit to left, and then the ground ball to short after two. It is a 2-0 Redwood lead right here on the Central Section Network, PlayOnSports.com. And we'll have more live coverage of Central Section Baseball Championships tomorrow on PlayOnSports.com. We'll be at the Division One through Five Championships all around the Central Section tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. Join us all week for baseball and softball, brought to you by your destination for high school sports, PlayOnSports.com. Already gone through the lineup once, so you're going to get down to the top of the order here. And Ashley Cervantes, she led off the game. Uh, with a ground ball to the pitcher, but you know, already going through the lineup once, that's the advantage here that's going to be given for Savannah Ziegler. You've seen the lineup once, and now you know what to offer against a very tough Redwood hitting team. So right now, again, a 2 nothing lead. It's all about building up uh, more runs here and there. And again, trying to build up that solidity if you are the Rangers, but again, against a very tough pitcher. And it seems as if right now, uh, Seeger has kind of settled herself in, but already two runs behind. She needs some help from her offense. Yes, yeah, she does. And uh, you know, now you just got to get out of the sitting, basically. Now back at the plate here, Ashley Cervantes, top of the third. Again, with Redwood leading 2-0. Seeger ready. First pitch showing bunt. Grounded to Barkowski. Tossed the first. Quickly play. Quickly made. And that'll be out number one. It's all about reflexes there. They showed bunt right before the pitch was thrown. But Barkowski on their toes runs to the ball and tosses it easily for the six for the five three. And to get Cervantes out on one pitch so big again as she is a 5-14 hitter. A big uh, confidence boost for Kingsburg. Now at the plate here, Sarah Solino. Seeger now ready. Pitch on the way. Again showing bunt, but this time, Hooks foul. And you see again Barkowski running over. 
And you see Seeger again, once she sees Bunt, she's trying to place it outside so that Barkowski can hustle over and make that play. And you see the corners pinching in, maybe expecting a ground ball. Instead of Lee fouled up to the backstop. As now Seeger here ahead in the count, no balls and two strikes. Solino, 0 for 1 today with a strikeout swinging. Seeger now ready, the 0-2. In the dirt for a ball, 1 and 2. Again, top of the third here, Redwood leading by a score of two to nothing. Again, on the RBIs by Haley Gonzalez and Savannah White. The one, two, in the dirt again, same spot as the count now evens up here at two balls and two strikes. Great battle here by Solino, who again trailed 0-2 in this count as she forced uh, Seeger to get down to the dirt. Two, two pitch, swung on, and, and fouled off again as she's really putting up a battle here. On deck here, Rebecca Cervantes gone on last game with an error by Bartkowski. The 2-2 offering just off and away outside. So the count now from going 0-2. Selena really battling now as she's forced to throw six pitches here. It's now 3-2. And with Cervantes coming up, you really want to try and get this out if you're Kingsburg. Swung on and a fly ball down to left and I'll just go in front of the chalk for a hit. Goes right through the left fielder's glove, rounding second and holding there. And that will be a one out double there from Sarah Solino. Way to go up on that play. As Solino takes the outside pitch right in front of the chalk for a one out double. Sixth double of the season for her and now with Cervantes coming up, a 551 hitter, a lot of pressure on Kingsburg right now, down to nothing. So Rebecca Cervantes, who got on again, she's 0 for 1, but got on on the air by Barkowski. It was a short ground ball that Barkowski maybe should have held. Oh, the pitch on the way, hits a left, catch is made for out number two. That's a liner right into the glove of Smith, who didn't really have to move all that much, but that holds the runner. Two outs here, top three. And two big outs, really, for Seeger as she's knocked out uh, both of Redwood's top batters, really good 500 plus hitters on one pitch. So Haley Gonzalez now at the plate. She's one for one with an RBI double. Swung on and missed on the off speed. So Seeger now ahead in the count here, no balls and a strike. Again, two nothing, here our score. Redwood only with one hit on the afternoon. Second pitch, foul ball right to the catcher. Is now Seeger ahead in the count here at 0 and 2. Would be nice here for Seeger again after that one out double to maybe get out of this inning here and give uh, the Vikings a chance to put up a fight for a comeback. And another big out, not only in terms of ending the inning, but it'd be another big out in terms of a Big bat, because in, here you have another 400 hitter. The 0-2 pitch. Ground ball right off the glove of Seeger. Picked up by the shortstop, tossed to first, and it's in time for out number three. A great move by Salinas, who runs right to the ball and gets him on the bang, bang play. Very important for her confidence there, I think, to get out you know, three of the top hitters for Redwood. Uh, let, let one on, but knocked out three of their best hitters and really good for their confidence, and we'll see if now that spurs Kingsburg on, on offense. Keep it right here, bottom of the third coming up. It's a two and nothing ball game, and you know, with that ground ball right there, credit that actually a one to six to three as the uh, pitcher and, uh, and, and, uh, and Seeger ended up touching the ball, but obviously not just a big out in terms of obviously getting him out of the inning, but obviously with the runner having to go because of the second out, that might have brought him a run, so that definitely made it a great defensive effort to, give that keep, to keep that deficit down to two. Absolutely, and now you just really gotta get, get the bats going. Last time, 
They had obviously the, the promising start, got their opening batter on base, but uh, getting caught stealing at second, and then things kind of just went downhill, and all of a sudden the inning was over. Need some momentum, need to at least extend the inning, have a longer inning, get some good bats on the ball, and feel good about that offense get go getting going. So here we are in the bottom of the lineup, the number nine hitter and number 13, Leslie Garcia coming up at the plate. Now you go into the top of the order and you got that three, four in the heart of the lineup. You get two batters on here, you get your leadoff and your number nine or your, your number nine and your number one hitters, and that'll bring up a lot of damage. You'll get your two, three, four. So this is definitely one of the crucial spots here in this bottom of the third inning. Leslie Garcia here stepping in. Garcia trying to put her team back into this one. Showing butt right in front. Third baseman picks it up, toss to first, and that'll be in time. And a great play there by the third baseman and Rebecca Cervantes, who scoops it up for the easy out. Call it a 5-3, one away. So Marina Salinas now with the plate as she's batting 0 for 1 on the afternoon. White ready. First pitch on the way, well off the plate and outside. Count at 1-0. And again, Salinas leading the team in batting average hits, runs, doubles, tied for second in walks, third in RBI. Just a lot of that offense for the Vikings. Second pitch swung on and fouled away into the backstop as Kauna eaves up at a ball and a strike. Two nothing here, bottom of the third. And after that shakeup in the first inning, which the Rangers got out of, as you see the pitch there, swung on way off the plate, one two. After that shakeup in the first inning, it seems as if as uh, White also has settled in. And the count here, one ball and two strikes. Here to Salinas, 1-2 offering. Way off and outside, trying to fool her, but pulled away. Count evens at 2-2. Two and two. Looking for a slap hit, just get something, get on base if you're Kingsburg. 2-2 two, two offering, swung on and missed for strike number three. Ball didn't hit the ground, so no toss to first. Again, going outside, didn't chase the bait the first time, but the second one, they're a charm. So now with two outs here, here comes Barkowski. She's 0 for 1, but got on an on in error on a fly out to the second baseman. Swung on and a high fly ball down to center field. Under it is Cervantes, who makes the catch for out number three, so one, two, three, go uh, the Vikings, and only with two runners on today, they have yet to have a runner go down to third base, we'll keep it right here, top of the fourth coming up. It is a two nothing Rangers lead right now here, uh, three innings already in the books, uh, Michael, and it just seems that both pitchers here settling in, but it's the unfortunate uh, outing here for, uh, for, for Seeger to give up those two runs as both pitchers have really found their rhythm in the early goings. And yeah, you gotta give White and her Ranger crew uh, credit for just not giving any any life back to Kingsburg at this point at least. A uh, couple really, really solid innings for them defensively and making it tough on Kingsburg to get back into it. So again, if you are, and the thing is for Seeger too is you know, a lot of times you see a lot of these pitchers pitch really good gems, but you don't get a whole lot of offensive support. It's all about basically playing your own game right now. Again, if you're if if you are Seager, you're on the mound, you are down two nothing. You really should not let the deficit get to you, get to you because considering that you are doing your job right now, you're just hoping that later in the game that the offense will definitely get it going in the, in those later stages. Yeah, there's still plenty of time uh, now, though. On defense, it's that much more important to kind of pitch gems, obviously not make any fielding mistakes, and get out of these innings quickly if you're Kingsburg. Savannah White here at the plate. She does have an RBI on a single in the first inning. You need pitcher. Seager now steps in. 
Gets the call on the first pitch on the way. A fly ball to shallow right. Making the run, does she get it? Yes, she does. A beautiful move there by Garza along the fence. And that's a very tough play. She gotta look for the ball and, uh, and the fence at the same time. And way to judge the play to make the first out. Tough play as you said, Manny. And if you're looking for something to you know, add to Kingsburg's confidence, plays like that are that much more important here in a championship game. Lena Avaka now stepping in, uh, 0 for 1 on the ground ball to third in the first inning. First pitch on the way and a pop up to the shallow part of the infield as making the play is Sarah Seeger. Seeger gets the ball here for out number two. And really not much pressure for Redwood. Obviously they want to add runs on to this lead. You never want to you never want to take it easy, but really playing with house money right now, whereas Kingsburg really needs this momentum. And only here for Seeger. Fortunate for her, she's only thrown three pitches here in this top of the fourth. First pitch on the way, all of which have been strikes. First pitch on the way, and that'll hit the corner. Oh and one. Here to Jenny Mendeville. Mendeville? 0 for 1 with a strikeout. The 0 1 offering in the dirt as she backs off. Count even at 1 and 1. And as you said, Manny, it is nice for Seeger that she's only a few pitches in still in this inning. Swung on on the third pitch in this at bat right into the backstop. It'd be nice for her, too, to especially get out of this one, only throwing less than 10 pitches. It only took her three to the first two batters. And now just three more, double it out to six here to Mendeville. The one, two <coughs> off the plate and outside. So the count out evens up at two, two. So now deuces wild, well two balls, two strikes and two outs here again, top of the fourth. Rangers here leading two nil. Two, two pitch, way off and outside. So a nice little battle here for Mendeville to at least make Seeger shake in her, in her boots here a little. Seeger now ready, the 3-2 pitch. And that will miss just outside for ball number four. A close call there. But it was just off the black outside and a chance to get out of the inning at under 10. They put Mendeville on on a free pass. Now stepping up at the plate will be number nine, Regina Lopez. Playing at third, 0 for 1 on the ground ball to the pitcher in the second. So now with a runner on here, again in the first inning, the Rangers had a two out rally in the top of the first. A pop up right behind us and off the press box out of play. Lopez here on the 0-1 count. Seager ready, the 0-1 offering outside. Missing the black a little high. Count even at one and one. Seager here again, throwing only three to the first two batters, but had to toss six to Mendeville and put her on on a walk. And this time around, it looks as if, as if she might be out of sync. As Lopez here ahead in the count here, two and one. Ready to go now, the two one offering. That's a bit high. 3-1. And it seems as if now the Rangers are playing a little bit of a mind game against here, against Seeger on the mound. And Lopez, you know, only a 279 hitter, but 26 runs driven in. And that fifth pitch there for ball number four. So again, three pitches to the first two batters, and this time around, Seeger seems as if the uh, She's being a little shaken up as head coach. Mika Sanchez runs over to talk to Seeger and the rest of her infield. 
Yeah, inning started out well again for Kingsburg, but now a little shaky, so you just want to talk things over, remind them that there's nothing to really be concerned about. You're only down 2 nothing. You just need to get your, your feet back underneath you, keep th keep uh, keep throwing at the target, and uh, get out of this inning. So now we go to the bottom of the order here in Chris Crimson Kaiser, who steps in. And again, Kaiser. only her fourth at-bat of the season. Kaiser, the designated player, so really not going for strategy, but they're really going for speed. She gets a base hit. I can tell you she might be carrying off the field for that matter. First pitch, fly ball, in a two. Shallow left into foul oh. territory and a diving catch. They're made by the second baseman and Davis. My goodness, what a way to save an at-bat. And that looked like it was going to be a complete disaster for Kingsburg as uh, the the two players there coll colliding, they made contact, and I thought for sure that ball would be dropped. What a job there by Davis of holding onto it as she hit the ground and rolled, and pulling out, pull, Willie pulling out that catch to get out of the inning. So it's a two nothing game, and like we said, we'll keep it right here. Two nothing right now, the score, and you know, as we talk about, as we've talked about th throughout the entire broadcast, where time right now isn't really much of a factor, but you've got four innings to go, and against a pitcher and uh, and White, who's really found her rhythm and really taken down players rock solid, yet to give up a hit or a hit on the step, but she has put runners on on a walk and an error. Really, Savannah White is really showing that she's going to be a very tough. A pitcher to go up against and again if you are the Vikings what do you need to do mentally to get into the head of Savannah White oh you just you got plenty of offense if you're if you're Kingsburg there's plenty of offense all over the lineup uh, you just need to keep swinging those bats like you have all season and something will, something will hopefully come for you so right now again a two nothing a Redwood lead and here in the bottom of the fourth uh, if you want to think about this mathematically they need to get two or more runs and about 12 outs, which is definitely doable. But again, if you are Redwood, you kind of are in a good pace, in a good setting with White on the mound. Again, coming in today with just an under one ERA and a near flawless 14 and two record. So Seeger here at the plate, stepping in, White with the call, the pitch outside and that will be a ball 1-0 maybe getting a, getting a run here they they obviously don't have to get the runs right away but you really want to force white to throw as many pitches as possible ground ball to third scooped up tossed to first in time for the 5-3 one away and that took just two pitches and Seeger 419 third in the team in batting average and hits would have been big, big for her to get on to help the Vikings start off the uh, start off the inning. But now uh, another you know you're you're at a good place in the lineup with Gonzalez coming up. She's such a good hitter. You need to get on right now though. Jessica Gonzalez here at the plate who popped out in her first at bat, first pitch outside, well off the black. Count here at one ball and no strikes. Gonzalez again leading the Central Sequoia League in home runs and RBIs. Second in slugging percentage, fifth in batting average. Be big for her to get on. White second pitch this time in the dirt. As Gonzalez here and heading the count, two balls and no strikes. White now looking maybe just a tad bit fatigued. Hasn't really had to toss a toss a whole lot of pitches here. Swung on in a pitch here to right center. Chasing after it, can't get it as it goes right to the wall. Gonzalez out to second, a one out double on a fly ball there down to right center. Cervantes unable to chase after it. And now they've got a lady out in scoring position. Her ninth double of the season and you could see she was just swinging for the fences and that might be just what the Vikings need right now. Second time here today that the Vikings have Put a runner on in scoring position. As Marissa Garcia will step in, the designated runner who will come in for Gonzalez. Lindsey Smith, the left fielder now coming in. A chance to maybe put a dent on that scoreboard. Right now looking at the facial expression of Savannah White, uh, maybe it looks a little 
either a little tighter or maybe just a little frustrated right now, even before that at bat against Gonzalez. So I don't know if, if that might play a factor. First pitch inside, and that'll be in for a strike, 0-1. But obviously with the 2 nothing lead, she's obviously got to be coming in every at bat thinking that she's behind. Second pitch, a fly ball down to center. Cervantes right under the ball, and that'll be in for round number two. So they'll leave Gonzalez out at second base. Courtney Inouye now coming at into the box here with two outs. She did get on with a single, but was caught stealing while she was on the base pass. First pitch fouled off right into the backstop. Count here 0 and 1. So again, you get a runner on this time with one out. Same affair in the in their half of the first. But so far, the Vikings have yet to respond. A one pitch, a ground ball that just shades fell along the line. So and now Manny, White here ahead on two. Manny, as you look at both dugouts, a lot of energy in that Viking dugout. Right now, Kingsburg feeling a little bit momentum, a little bit of uh, hope. White now again ahead here, 0-2, a runner on second. The 0-2 offering. Swung on and a pop-up right into the first baseman gloves of Lena Vaca. And that'll be out number three. So a one-out single goes for not here for the Vikings. And after four innings of work, it's Redwood leading by a score of two to nothing. You are watching exclusive coverage of the CIF Central Softball Championships right here on PlayOnSports.com. And make sure to stay tuned later on for the PlayOnSports.com post-game show where we'll select our player of the game. And that will be coming up following the game on your destination for high school sports, PlayOnSports.com. So not much hitting-wise, though. And right now, if it, if it sets up to be this way, it just seems as if the mistakes committed by the Vikings defensively could set the tone for this game right now, already four innings in. And... Again, if you are the Vikings and Seeger, it's all about just doing your own game, playing your own game right now and hoping that the offense can come through. But four innings in, they've had two instances in the first and the fourth where they've had runners in scoring position, but nothing's paid off so far. Yeah, and you know, mentioned the the energy that was coming up in the in the uh, Kingsburg dugout and a little a little quieter in the Redwood dugout, but they're really just workmanlike, getting making those plays, making the plays they need to get, get they need to make. And uh, getting out of innings, not letting Ki not letting Kingsburg back into it. And the thing here with Redwood too is, again, they have yet to win a section title. And you know, as you go in out by out, it just seems as if it becomes more of a reality. But you cannot go ahead of yourself, which is part of the reason why that dugout here for Redwood is just a tad bit more quieter because they are definitely now approaching unfamiliar territory. First pitch, well over the catcher's head. Here, a 1-0 count. to Ashley Cervantes. Cervantes here batting 0 for 2 on the afternoon. 1-0 offering. Swung on and a pop-up right over the backstop. And out of play. Count even now with a ball and a strike. And Cervantes, as you said, Manny, 0 for 2, but always a danger as she, uh, you know, a 5-14 a hitter and can hit for extra bases, a lot of runs driven in. Very dangerous. Fly ball hit down to center. Tracking after it on the beautiful play is Inoue. My goodness. Talk about making that play off balanced. Over her left shoulder makes the catch for a very acrobatic out number one. A play they had to make, but a tough play, a, a, a tough play still. And uh, really crucial to keep themselves in it and keep themselves in it emotionally as well for Kingsburg. So now at the plate here, Sarah Solino. Solino here, one for two, struck out in the first, but gone on in the third with a double. Ready to go, first pitch. Ground ball or liner correction right into the hands, literally, 
above of Barkowski. I think she made that catch with her hand as she's trying to shake off that liner there. Yeah, that one stung a little bit, but you know, gave up a little bit of her body to make the play, and that uh, those are the kinds of things you see your teammates making those plays, and then maybe that gives you that much more momentum when you get back on offense, and hopefully for King, if you're a Kingsburg fan, to just make the plays to get out of this inning, but get that that little momentum here and there, and make some plays and get back in this one. And you know, same story here compared to the bottom of the fourth here. This time for Seeger, who's throwing around five pitches here in this half of her fifth inning. She might be able to get out of this if she can battle against Rebecca Cervantes very well. She got in the first with an error and did score, but in the third, she flied out to left. On one pitch as well, a really good pitch. And we'll see if she can do the same. First pitch in the dirt, and that will be a ball one and oh. Cervantes, uh, again, a very solid hitter. Most of this team here batting well over 420. Ground ball to third, but into the opposite side of the third base bag, and that'll be foul. The count evens up here at one and one. Again, 551 the average for Rebecca Cervantes. 52 runs driven in, though we said that last time she was up, but just amazing numbers. 1-1 one, one offering. In the dirt, great stop there by the catchers. The count now ahead here for Cervantes at 2-1. Again, if you're just joining us here at top of the fifth, both runs coming into the first inning on the RBIs by Haley Gonzalez and Savannah White. Their fourth pitch in the dirt. is the count now well ahead here for Cervantes at 3-1. Ready to go now, the 3-1 offering. Swung on and a ground ball again to third, but off the left side of the foul line, so they count now at full, 3-2. Seager really need that, as it's tough to get behind to such a good hitter, but now you, you're all, all full count. Obviously, I believe she might have swung at ball four, as a matter of fact, so this gives Seager another chance to maybe get one going here to get out of this inning. 3-2 pitch. Liner into left center, and that will drop in for a hit. Cervantes rounding first into second, a stand-up double here for Cervantes and another possible two-out rally here for the Rangers. And Cervantes, her 22nd double, or make that, uh, oh, I'm on the wrong column here. No, actually, I didn't misread that, couldn't believe it, but 22nd <laughs> double of the season. It's kind of one of those where you have to rub your eyes and just make sure that that is the right stat and yes an amazing stat at that here especially in softball 22 doubles here on the season especially when you find those spots out in the outfield pitch on the way here to Haley Gonzalez who has a ribby and that'll go in the dirt here for a ball 1-0 runner standing in scoring position worth Cervantes is at second base Seeger threw about five in the first two outs but since then has been a little off sick. Second pitch in the dirt. So now Savannah White here. Correction, Haley Gonzalez here. Feeling comfortable inside the box as she's ahead. Two balls and no strikes. 2-0 offering. Ground ball to Barkowski. A beautiful scoop up, toss to first. Call that a 5-3. And that will end the inning. So they give up a two out double, but it goes for naught. And after four and a half innings of work, right now Wedwood has put up two runs but have yet to put anything more. We'll keep it right here. Nine outs to go here for the Kingsburg Vikings as you now approach the bottom of the order. So if they can get some, uh, some hits going here in the bottom of the order, that'll bring your top of the lineup coming back in. And, but you know, as you, as you say here for head coach of Mika Sanchez, you gotta take this one batter at a time. Yeah, and again, Redwood uh, playing with a little bit of house money with the two-run lead, but uh, it was just a little bit of a tough start, Manny, for Kingsburg, but haven't made any major mistakes since, so they have that to be confident on, and now those bats just need to get going. Again, if you are Redwood right now, as we actually talked about earlier, uh, it, it's all about kind of 
trying to keep that momentum flowing uh, from the first to the seventh. And you know the dugout's been a little bit more quieter as the as the innings have gone along. Uh, as the innings have gone along, eight years ago they played in this kind of setting before, but lost in the championship game. And you know as this game goes along, it becomes more and more of an actual reality. Where again now you're into the single digit margin of maybe sneaking in for a state title. But again, Savannah White and her squad have to play a nine solid outs here if they want to take this title run. Now coming in here for the Lady Vikings. It'll be the number four batter, or correction, the number seven, seven batter, and number four, Janae Stone. Stone here, who flew out to the left fielder in the second inning. White ready, first pitch outside, but that touches the black. Count at 0-1. Ready to go, now the 0-1 pitch, well off the black and outside as the count evens here, one ball and one strike. And again, the Kingsburg dugout, really a lot of energy over there, trying to uh, cheer her on to base, hopefully for them. Line drive right through into the left, toss to first, just! In time is the runner in Janae Stone. When you're playing shallow right like that, and you've got an arm, a beautiful setup there by Solino, but it was bang, bang, tie goes to the runner, and they get a runner on here to lead off the fifth. Kelly Ritchie now coming in, the designated player. She grounded out to second, or correction, to short, in her first at bat in the second inning. So now with a leadoff runner at first base, trying to put some damage, first pitch on the way, and that'll be a ball, a 1-0. First time today that the Vikings have put a man on here to lead off an inning. Second pitch on the way, swung on in the dirt. Stone thought about going, but then holds back. Count evens at one and one. And Kingsburg, clearly the strategy here, just try and hit a ground ball, advance the runner, and Redwood creeping in for that. 1-1 one, one offering a short dribbler down to the pitcher, toss to first, that's all they're gonna get. And that'll be in time for round number one, but advancing to second is Janae Stone. Yeah, Richie got up there and did what she was uh, there to do. Advance the runner, now you have a runner in scoring position, which is so important for Kingsburg to get that get that going and now have an opportunity to score. Leslie Garza now stepping in. She grounded out to third in her first at bat. Infield playing shallow, first pitch fouled off into the screen, count an 0-1. And an interesting motive here at that as both the first and third baseman are playing about halfway to home right now believe they've done their homework and they're hoping that it'll be a ground ball right into the short or second baseman's glove. Second pitch down the pipe as White here and the count, no balls and two strikes. Ready to go, now the 0-2 offering. Swung on and missed, strike three. About the toss down to first, so that'll be a strikeout pass ball. Runners now sitting at the corners. And that's a costly move there by the catcher Mendeville. As White now, for the first time tonight, has to hold a runner out at third. Yeah, costly mistake and really giving this crowd here at Kingsburg the momentum. Already you had the whole dugout of Kingsburg on their feet and now you really feel that energy coming back into this little stadium. Now the infield here talking to Savannah White, telling him that, that you know even if they do give up a run, and I believe the info might be playing in a position where they could concede the run, they want to definitely hold off that runner at first base. They've got that two nothing lead, and you know that second run always important, especially in softball when you go in big title matches like these. When you've got two solid pitchers, two runs seems like a luxury, especially in this type of game. So we go though to the top of the order, 
as now coming up will be Marina Salinas. She's batting 0 for 2 with a ground ball to, to the pitcher and a strikeout in the third. First pitch away off the plate, 1-0. And now White really up against it again with just one out in the inning and Salinas a 490 hitter again. Tough. 1-0 pitcher, ground ball to second. They're gonna concede the runner, toss the first just in time as the second baseman and Haley Gonzalez almost gave up the play. She bobbled the ball right into the glove. But Kingsburg scores their first run and uh, a mistake, almost a really costly mistake there for Kingsburg. At least, I mean, make that for uh, for Redwood. At least they get the, the second out and, and limit the damage there. First pitch on the way here to Barkowski and that's gonna be off, off the plate. 1-0. A base hit here. Can tie the game as the runner will go on contact. 1-0 pitch, a ground ball to third, right into the glove. First, or the toss to first rather in time for the third and final out. So they give up a run, but they hold the tying run at second base and we'll keep it right here. Again, take it one inning at a time, and though with two innings to go, they got the run they needed, uh, Kingsburg did, but right now, it's all about playing uh, defensively as really uh, Seeger has pitched a very solid game after that uh, shaky outing in the first. She has, and now a lot of life, really, it was only a two-run game, not uh, not undoable at all, but now you cut that you cut that run, in, that lead in half, that deficit in half, and you're within just one play, really, of tying this championship game. So now as we go into the top of the six, and again with a two to one Redwood lead, you still have the lead right now, but you give up the run in that bottom of the fifth, and obviously you want to get some insurance runs, but you really want to go uh, rather slow a little bit here and there. You know, get some runners on. They've only got one hit to their credit. And that came out in the first inning on the RBI by Haley Gonzalez, Everest correction, two hits rather, by Gonzalez and Savannah White. But ever since then, uh, the bats have gone rather quiet. They've gotten two runners on, on base on balls. But since then, again, uh, Seeger has done her job and at least kept her team in it. It's now coming down to the plate. Will be number four, Savannah White. White here again with an RBI in the first, and then flew out to right in the fourth inning. Seeger now ready with the call. Pitch on the way, and that's gonna be a fly ball, and just off and out of play. So now Seeger here ahead in the count here to start off the sixth inning at 0-1. White now back in the box, Cedar with the call. The 0-1 offering. That'll be high for a ball, count even here at 1-1. One and one. Again, top of the sixth inning, Redwood Trying to hold on here to this two to one lead as they're up to possibly put some insurance runs here. Two one pitch and that'll find the strike zone. And Seager now back ahead in the count here, one two. Seager now ready. One two offering inside for a ball. As the count now even here, two balls and two strikes. And still a little room to move here for Seeger. A chance to maybe throw one more junk pitch and maybe chase the bait, the 2-2. Two -two. Outside, just off the black. That was a beautiful pitch, but a little movement at the end. Just goes off the strike zone, full count, 3-2. Yep, you took it out of my mouth. Manny, just a little movement at the end and just out of the strike zone. Ready to go now for the 3-2 pitch, and it's gonna be swung on, fouled off into the screen. So here White battling in this leadoff at bat in the sixth inning. 
In the count here, even at three balls and two strikes. Ready to go now, Seeger tosses, and it's gonna be a, a line drive in to left center. That'll drop in for a hit. White rounding first into second, sliding with a double. A high fly ball, but into no man's land as Savannah White will get her pants dirty and dive in with a leadoff double. And she had eight doubles on the season. Coming into this one, has a lot of power on that bat and took advantage of it right there. Swinging for the fences. So Lena Vaca now stepping in. Vaca today 0 for 2. Ready to go, first pitch, down the pipe. And that'll be a ball. Viking fans thought they had it, but usually the, rep, the umpires are dressed in blue, not in the home green. Now the 1-0 pitch on the way. That's a pop-up into shallow center, but it'll occur right into the second baseman's glove. And Davis, and that'll be out number one. And if you're Kingsburg, you really need to watch White. I don't know if she's still third, but she is 12 of 13 on stolen bases on the season. Yeah, she's definitely fast, but obviously the trajectory down to third base makes it difficult for a chance at a stolen base attempt going from second to third. First pitch this time will find the strike zone. That'll be 0-1 at the plate. Jenny Mendeville, Mendeville today 0 for 1 with a walk. And that came out in the fourth. The 0-1 pitch, swung on and missed. Count now at no balls and two strikes. So again, top of the sixth. Here with Redwood leading two to one with an insurance run standing at second base. Two one pitcher, ground ball right into the glove as Seeger looks over to third. Can't get the play there, but they'll get the out at first anyway. Two down. So advancing here, Savannah White on the ground ball. Thought about going to third, but that play would have been uh, far too difficult. So now at the plate here, number nine. Uh, will be the second baseman, number nine, Regina Lopez. Lopez today batting 0 for 1, but also has a walk in the fourth. First pitch, showing bunt into the backstop, 0-1. And if you're Kingsburg, you must just get out of this inning. Down 2-1, getting into the later stages of this game, the outs are limited and you just have to get out of this inning. Again, showing bunt, Barkowski picks it up, toss to first, and that'll be well in time for the third and final out. So they hold the runner down at third. Seeger gets the job done, but like you said, outs now coming, uh, you know, much shorter as this game goes along, and that's a beautiful defensive play there by Barkowski to really hold off that insurance run and keep that deficit at 2-1. It is, and uh, you know, yeah, for for Redwood, still had some good some good balls on the bat there, keep their offensive confidence going. Now they obviously have a little bit more pressure on defense, uh, only with the one run lead, and at the same time, you still have a lot of confidence and momentum on the Kingsburg's side, only down by one run, really a play here or there, and it's a tie game. And it's those play, it's those plays like that that really make the difference here between between championship teams considering you know you hold that runner at third base you keep it at a 2-1 affair and right now it just seems as if the uh, the Vikings haven't played obviously been playing been ca playing catch up since the beginning but now as you go through the lineup a second and third time as we're now getting to near the heart of the lineup with Seeker, Gonzalez and Smith those three four batters are crucial a combined total of 11 home runs one swing of the bat Michael and that could be the difference of a tie game, a whole new ball game, and maybe a chance at a Redwood to get closer to a title. Yeah, and it could, could really be a championship at any moment here. You have so much talent and power hitters really on both sides. So now coming up, Savannah Seeger, the pitcher, leading off here at the bottom of the sixth inning. Seeger here today 
gone on on a base on ball in the first and then grounded out to the third baseman in the fourth. So she's standing at one, 0 for 1 so far. First pitch off for a ball, 1-0. White with the call, the 1-0 pitch. Fly ball to shallow right, tracking under it on the play is Solino, and that'll be out number one. Two pitches, one away. So now five outs away are the Redwood Rangers. And the big out there for White and Redwood is uh, Seeger such a tough batter to get out. But now you have another, another toughie coming up. It doesn't get any easier with, with Gonzalez. Gonzalez again, six home runs on the year. First pitch, missing the black outside. Count here at 1-0. Gonzalez today, one for two, has a double. And that came out in the fourth. Pitch on the way, and that will find the strike zone. So the count here even at one ball and one strike. Get a runner on here and there. You go down to the 5-6-7, and Yue does have a hit. She's batting in the number six slot. A pop out to the second baseman under it. Making the play is Haley Gonzalez, and that'll be two down. Nice job of making the catch that you absolutely have to have in a championship game. But uh, for Kingsburg, makes it that much tougher and puts a little, a little pressure on, on Lindsey Smith. Yeah, the outs are now ticking down for the Vikings, four outs to go at the plate here. Is Lindsey Smith, who takes the first pitch outside for a ball, 1-0. Smith again doesn't have it, extremely impressive numbers. Ground ball here to Gonzalez, pick up, toss to first, and that'll be just in time on the high throw for out number three, a great acro acrobatic move by Alina Vaca, who Obviously, would have saved an error there on that play. Yeah, I was going to say she does have 18 hits, and then maybe she could get on. <laughs> but, you know, the little grounder there, not enough on it, and the easy play made Ooh. over to third for the, for the out. And Redwood does another good job. Yet again, they've done such a good job fielding uh, to get out of the inning. And now, uh, you know, put pressure again back on Kingsburg. Now obviously for the Vikings so far, one inning to go. Obviously the most important inning as you go into it here with a 2-1 deficit. And now this is where it becomes more mental than physical. Absolutely, that's just what I was gonna say. Is it's, it goes without saying that you can't allow any runs here, but it's, it's all about you know keeping that, as you said, keeping uh, your mental, your emotions in check and not letting your not letting your head beat you. Yeah, obviously, you know, especially the end like this here, a two-one right now, a Redwood affair, uh, with again one inning to go. You know, you give up a third run that really takes off a lot of the psyche because obviously when you're going into it, you want to keep it at a two-one game, but every run that you give up, just more and more air comes out of that balloon, and you really want to keep it at least, obviously at a two-one, but just enough so you can really relieve the cushion so you can just get that one run going into the bottom of the second. But again, outs definitely, and time not on their side right now as they've really got to hold off that conceding one run. So now at the plate will be Crimson Kaiser. First pitch, and that's in for a strike outside. So now the count here at no balls and one strike here to Crimson Kaiser, who's batting 0 for 2. A ground out and a pop out. Fly ball to the foul territory of right field and making the catch and colliding. And that will be a drop foul ball. And that's where you got to communicate as the second baseman and I believe right fielder kind of played heads there on the play. Yeah, that's the second time over there at first in the, the area of... Uh, first base and down the first base line that players have collided and you've got to have better communication than that in the championship game but sometimes the sun gets in your eyes the pressure cuts on and just gets tough that's where those fundamentals become so important yeah umpire looking over to guards standing at right field seeing if she is okay and we're now back to softball 0-2 pitch outside trying to 
Maker chase the bait. Not gonna happen. Count here at one ball and two strikes. Kaiser at the plate and on deck here at the top of the lineup in Ashley Cervantes. One, two pitch. Fly ball here to center field. Tracking under it is in Yue. She makes the catch for the easy can of corn. One away. Yeah, especially at the high school level, again, those fundamentals can be the first thing to go when the pressure gets on. So good to make those fundamental plays that you have to make. Keep, keep your feet underneath you and don't get in your head. One out here. Top of the seventh, and now back to the top of the order. Ashley Cervantes batting 0 for 3. First pitch showing bunt right to Barkowski. Scoop up, toss to first. Bang, bang. Out number two. Barkowski here, if, if you want to give uh, player of the game honors, you would definitely give it to her. She's made a lot of defensive plays ever since uh, committing that first error, ever since she's been playing really slotting, uh, solid, holding a lot of runners in check and really making those very difficult throws out to first. And however this one ends up going. And speaking of, hey, Barkowski again for the third and final out. Yeah, uh, to finish the thought, however <laughs> however this one ends up going, even if Kingsburg isn't able to come back, you got to give them credit. At, at certain points earlier in the game when they were down, it looked like the wheels might come off, like it might uh, just let a few mistakes become a lot more mistakes, and you got to credit them for not getting in their heads, keeping their fundamentals strong for the most part. Again, even a mistake over there in, in right, uh, but for the most part, not letting one mistake become five. Now we go to the bottom of the seventh right now, Michael, and it's pretty obvious. They don't score. This game will end the championship. We'll go down to Redwood. As you look into this lineup right now, you've got the six, seven, and eight batters in Yui, Stove, or Stove, and Richie. Right now, a combined total of two for six right now in that five, six, and that's six, seven, and eight order right now. And Yui got on with the hit in the second. And then Stove got on in the fifth and also did score. So obviously, you're in the part of the lineup where you can get hits here and there. Obviously, this is not a team where they can get on with their bats, but they can get on strategically. And obviously, you know, you got the, you get basically in this game right now, you've got the perfect uh, part of the order to at least get runners on. Yeah, and especially for, for Kingsburg in terms of. Uh, the fact that their bats have been coming on later in the game. And for Redwood, you know, you've got, a, you've got the one run lead. You've got, uh, you've got the championship in sight. Now comes the time for the killer's instinct. On the other hand, this is high school softball. Now comes a lot of emotions. Now it's Redwood that has to keep those emotions in check, keep those fundamentals in check, and try and close this championship out. Now coming to the plate, Courtney in Ewing. Again, batting one of four, two. Got on in the second, but was caught stealing after the single. And then popped out to the first baseman in the fourth. First pitch outside for a ball, 1-0. Savannah White here on the mound. And you can really hear this crowd getting loud here, a great atmosphere. Second pitch inside, 2-0. Again, uncharted territory for the Rangers. They have not won a section title. They were here eight years ago, but left empty-handed. Third pitch right into the right field, stands and out of play as White gets her first strike here in this at-bat, 2-1. Again, a 2-1 Ranger lead. Redwood just need three more outs to go to walk home with that section title. Two one offering way up and inside. So now it's three and one. And now, like we said, as we go into the later goings, it now becomes a mind game and Savannah White needs to dig herself out of a hole. Three one pitch, swung on at a ground ball. Right through the glove of the second baseman, that'll drop in four. A one out single. Credit that one a hit. A tough play to make there by Gonzalez. 
And now they got the tying run on. Yeah, tough bounce there. And now you really have this crowd against you and a lot of pressure now on Redwood with the runner on and the crowd getting loud, starting to get on their feet and some hope here for Kingsburg. Janae Stone, the first baseman at the plate. First pitch in the dirt for a ball, 1-0. And Yui was caught stealing in the second inning, but I can probably say that unless if it's a pass ball, that's where she's gonna stay. 1-0 offering, ground ball, a short chopper to the pitcher, toss the first and that'll be in time, but call that maybe a sacrifice. It will be a 1-3, but that'll move the runner into scoring position out at second. Yeah, runner at scoring position, just one out, and Kingsburg in great position to tie this one up. It'd be a different story, Manny, if maybe the, they had scored that one run early and hadn't had anything since. The bats have been coming on late, and now Kingsburg feeling good about their chances to tie this one up. First pitch here to Richie. Just high for a ball, 1-0. and oh. Richie, 0 oh for 2, both on ground outs. Runner at second, 1 away. Second pitch. Ground ball just foul to the right. So the count now even at one and one. And you can see the way she's swinging that bat and even her body language when that hit the ground. She's really excited, wants to get on base, get, get the runner advanced, something. Even I've got my, uh, my blood flow in here, the one one pitch. Outside, that'll be a pass ball right through the glove and advancing the third will be in Yui. Standing now just 60 feet away. A tough mistake there. And now you just have more and more of that atmosphere and emotion from this crowd in front of us. And now for Redwood, they need to get their feet back underneath them. They, they have the lead, but sometimes when you're in this situation, it can feel like you have your backs against the wall even with the lead. Yeah, especially now uh, with the runner now standing just one bag away to score. Infield definitely has to play up. Championship game here on the road, bottom of the seventh, or top of the seventh, I should say, of course, and bottom of the seventh, yes. Uh, and, uh, you know, you have the championship in sight, just two outs away. Now it's about finding that killer instinct, the, uh, using those good fundamentals, throwing some good pitches, and closing this championship out. And of course, though, if you're Kingsburg, you've got all the hope in the world the way this is going right now. The tying run standing at third, the winning run at the plate. So the count here at two balls and a strike. In for Richie, the 2-1 offering. Outside for a ball, 3-1, tossed to third to hold the runner, and that's where Inouye will stay put. Not even sure if they might even put her on, and it's very difficult to turn double, double plays in softball, especially when the timing is very short on any ground ball. So it's all about strategy. The infield is playing up. It's correction, a two and two count here. Yes, two, two. So the count here even, the offering. Ground ball into the glove, tossed to first. They hold the, no! It's right through the glove, and UA scores! Runner advances the second. My goodness! All the time in the world, White! Could not to connect in the arm of Vaca. And it's now a brand new ball game. A huge mistake there for Redwood. No real other way to put it. They're backs against the wall against this crowd. And they made the mistake. And Kingsburg jumped on it and took advantage. And now, obviously, all the momentum in Kingsburg's uh, direction here in the bottom of the seventh. And for Redwood, now again, it's, I can't stress enough, it's about not letting one mistake become two, become three, become a championship loss here. Redwood has to finish this one out, get their feet back underneath them right now. Ground ball on the first pitch, fouled into the uh, dugout of uh, the Vikings who have now brought in a brand new ball game, but the winning run, standing just two bags away. Leslie Garza inside the box. And it's gotta be tough for Redwood here with the crowd against them and just rising up. You can feel the emotion in this stadium. 
Pitch on the way, ground ball. Throw to first, the runner will advance to third. And now two outs here. Savannah White this time around sets up and fires. And now they're one out of way, one out of way to escape what could be a very damaging, damaging inning. Not only that, but may cost them the title. So now at the plate here, the top of the order. Marina Salinas at the plate. Right now today, batting 0 for 3, two ground outs and a strikeout. First pitch, outside for a ball, 1 and 0. Salinas again, such a big part of this Kingsburg offense, leading the team in so many categories. Would be huge for her right now. Second pitch swung on and missed. She is swinging Woo. for those fences. She knows that one will bring home that central section title. <laughs> Selena's now ready. Stepping, stepping away now is again. Taking a deep breath before she hacks away. White in the circle. Again at a 2-2 ball game. 1-1 one, one the count. White ready. Pitch. Swung on and fouled away. Right to the backstop. Count now at 1-2. and two. So White now one pitch from possibly getting out of this one. And trying to send this to extras on the other end though. Salinas trying to knock in a section title. The one, two. Swung on to the ground ball. Off the glove of Gonzalez. And this score is rich in. That will do it. Two runs scored in the seventh. And the Vikings will bring home the title. The Kingsburg Vikings. A run in the fifth. Two in the seventh. By the skin of their teeth, a very hard-earned central section title. They win it by a final of three to two. What a way to come back. It did not look like it early, Manny. What a way for Kingsbury to come back. It looked like after those couple mistakes they made early, the runs they gave up, that they didn't really have the bats going, looked shaky defensively, got their feet back underneath them, got those bats going, took some time, took some time, Manny, but got those bats going and just continued to carry that momentum forward. And for Redwood, you know, a great performance, a little shaky at the end, a tough way for them to end it for sure, but definitely showed they can compete. Again, this team shorthanded eight years ago. Shorthanded a year ago, and this is definitely, I think, one of the tougher games in in Redwood history to swallow. Again, a, a play down to short. Gonzalez, the second baseman, a hard ground ball at that, a very tough play to make, especially when you close down to the plate. And it's all about making that play to perfection. And it just seems as if her mind kind of played a little bit tougher than the ball. Yeah, that will happen. And again, this is high school, high school athletics. Uh, these are teenagers, two high school students. Uh, big situation can be tough. It might have gotten a little bit of the best of them in certain spots, but a great championship performance just to get here and really competed. They did a great job of competing throughout. We'll take a timeout right here again. Kingsburg, two runs in the bottom of the seventh will bring home that Division Three Central Section title. And you can hear the fans right in front of us. They win it and win another Central Section title. We'll take a quick timeout right here. This is exclusive coverage of the Central Section Softball championships right here on PlayOnSports.com, where high school sports lives right here.
Welcome back here to PlayOnSports.com again. The Vikings of Kingsburg take it by a final of three to two and they get those two hard earned runs in uh, that bottom of the seventh inning. And my goodness, it's really hard to say who this player of the game might be. We can definitely maybe give it to Seeger. She gave up two runs in the first, but she really held on, especially ever, uh, ever since giving up those two runs in the first inning. She really held her ground. But on the other end, you might have to give it to Salinas. The, the game winning, it was an error down to second. But again, with that, that placement on the ball, this, uh, this game definitely would have gone to extra. So either way, I'd definitely give it to both. But I'd say both of them may get credit for player of the game. Yeah, absolutely. They they both uh, had great performances and um, you know made plays when they need to be made. And again, you just got to give so much credit to Kingsburg for not for, for not letting the deficit get to their heads, not even letting the mistakes they they made after they they, they got down um, continue to be uh, to continue to snowball and keep themselves mentally in it and wait for that opportunity and take advantage of it for the championship. And that's the thing too, you know, it, it's really hard to, to really give credit to just one or two players, because it's really, uh, especially in a game like this where it's a one, two, three, two affair, uh, it, it's all about team effort. And, you know, when you're when you're down two nothing early, you can, you know, a lot of teams like to just, you know, throw in the towel and, and give it there when the offense isn't going. But again, it took them a couple of innings to get the offense going. They got the run in the fifth inning and, you know, the bottom of the seventh, were obviously where it counted the most. They got the crucial hits. They put the runners on. And this is the reason, big reason why they're holding up that section trophy. So we'll wrap it up here in this one. Again, we'll, uh, to wrap it up to... To say who made this game uh, uh, at all possible, Michael Konowitz here, my color guy, and our camera guy, our man, Timmy Tim Parker, here with Manny Nunes Bank at the call on this one. This has been exclusive coverage of the CIF Division Three Central Section Championships right here on PlayOnSports.com. You can catch the player of the game interview and this game on demand as you can watch this game again and again starting at late midnight tonight. From all of us here in Kingsburg, California, good afternoon, and we will see you actually tomorrow for more softball and baseball coverage right here on PlayOnSports.com. Good night, everybody, and we'll see you back tomorrow afternoon.